Hey, internet people, hello. Um, it is a given that eventually all of us are going to pass away. We're all going to die. And as a realtor, something I have been seeing here um, with my real estate business is that I'm having quite a few um, people with estates or parents who are moving, having to move out of their house into care, parents who've died. And they have to clear out everything in the house in order for us to even try to evaluate what needs to be done to sell the house. And that, if you haven't done it before, and unfortunately, I have. Um, if you haven't done that before, it is horrible. There's, there's no other word to describe it. It's time consuming. It's horrible. It's emotional. It's hard to make good decisions about what's best for the estate of your family if you are so overwhelmed and bogged down by stuff that you can't make those decisions effectively, right? So I wanted to talk a little bit today really quick just about things that you can do to try to help your parents understand that their stuff that you're not going to keep is like what it's going to do to you when they go. Have those honest conversations with your family. Uh, some things that I've done is I used to sit down and be like, well, you know, in 20, 30 years when you pass, I'm not going to want these cherished teddies, these, you know, longer burr baskets, these, you know, um, the only thing that I really would want are these 1950s and 60s Pyrex dishes those I want. I want this bench. I want the this bed set. I don't want these things. And it may seem like that's kind of a jerk thing for you to say to your parents when they're still living, but it kind of sets a seed in their head about what they can expect from you later on. Ask them what their favorite things are. What are your absolute favorite things in your home? Treasure those. Mention that you love XYZ and then later on you're hoping that they'll give it to you. There were some things that my mom, you know, parted with before she passed. She wasn't expecting to pass. Um, but there were some things that she knew that I probably didn't want to, you know, that meant something to me. And I got those before she died. Um, otherwise... Just be honest with them and say, look, if we ever have to put you into care or if you unexpectedly pass away and I have to handle your estate or Susie has to handle your estate or whoever, we need to have these things, these, you know, these things cleared out, storage units, papers, um, anything that's like junk encourage them to throw it away. Like, so my parents were depression era parents. They grew up in the depression. So they saved papers, books. I've got a billion things I'm still going through. All their photos were thrown into boxes. Spend a weekend, take the photos and throw them into like photo albums or scrapbooks and write little notes about who people are. Get this stuff done now, even if your parents are younger. Like I'm clearing out things so that my kids won't have this issue. Talk, start talking to the, your parents about this when they're younger. And then don't get in that trap yourself. Remember, your kids don't want your tchotchkes most of the time. Unless it's Star Wars figurines or some cookware. Like, I will keep all that. That is, that's the, I'll keep that. Your Pyrex, I will keep that. But other stuff, like your kids may not want it. So just kind of have that conversation flowing it's better you do it now before they get in a condition where they can't speak to you than you end up like me and my clients where you're walking around sobbing because your loved one is gone and thinking, oh my God, I've got to throw away everything in here before I can close your estate. It's, don't do that to your kids and talk to your parents so they don't do it to you. Have a great day, everybody.